Good morning. I have moved campsites. I'm now there. Um, really happy about this move because it backs up to just all this. So last night I had campfires and lights and stuff like that from other campers. Now we're making things a little more difficult. With this as my background, if I end up shooting right outside my camp again, I won't have any of those problems. I am gonna go hike up to the panoramic point. Uh, my buddy Eric, an old work buddy from Florida, should be here relatively soon. I'll see how difficult the hike is on whether or not I'm gonna go up there and shoot. From talking with people, it doesn't sound like it's a very easy hike up. So, I don't know. This is where I'll be shooting tonight, if all else fails. All right, Mr. Lachance, say hello to the light painting world. Hello, light painting world. <laughs> Eric and I are uh, we're hiking up to Panorama Point. No, Panorama, what's it called? Panorama. I think it's Panorama. Point? Panorama. I thought it was Paranoia Point when I drove by the sign originally. <laughs> Par so we're going. That's a strange name for a point. <laughs> we're going to Paranoia Point. Don't jump. <laughs> the hike so far has been strenuous. <laughs> we're on a nice flat part, so I busted out the camera because I can actually breathe the talk. Um, there's no way I'm hiking up this with all my gear to light paint, that's for sure. <laughs> this is where we're at. All kinds of wildflowers. For the record, we're at about 8,800 feet. 8,800. That's pretty high. It's high up. We're at 8,800 feet. He lives here and he's dying. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm definitely dying. Anyway, we're, uh, we're making progress. We're getting up there. 8,900 feet. That's about 8,890 feet more than I'm used to. <laughs> Walking in the Rocky Mountains. Two days ago I was in Kansas, now I'm on top of a mountain and with a random boot with some flowers in it. Like a sort of sad story. This shoe belonged to a man who loved me. Oh man, it really is sad. This shoe, it's got a really good message to it. Sad, but a lovely message. Watch this. <laughs> Do you guys see that? I believe that there's a road and we could have just driven here. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, there's like a parking a lot. Here we go. So, we just hiked to a parking lot. Yes. You gotta be kidding me. Mm. Yeah, look at this. Right. Panorama point. Yeah. yeah, this is the street. So we literally could have driven here. I don't mind the hike, but would have been nice if one of the many people that I talked to <laughs> said, hey, you can drive there too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, this is it. We're here, but it's hazy. I really thought we were going like up there. What do you think that is? Probably like 12,000, 13,000? That's gotta be huge. We're still up here at Panorama Point. We're now hiding under the deck here because it is uh it's thundering and also hailing now so we may or may not make it back we have a long hike back down the mountain in this weather with no uh appropriate gear it's gonna be a cold hike back down by the way but we're going for it All right, so I'm back here at the camp. Um, if I shoot tonight, I'm probably just gonna shoot, like I said, out here. Hike the trail up to uh, the, why can't I think of the name of that place? Hike the trail up to Panoramic uh, Point. My favorite part about that hike was finding the boot and that message that was on the boot. It's, it's nice to see it, um, you know, as a reminder, as a memorial to uh, the, the man who owned that boot. Um, still a little, iffy on the weather um it's been raining on and off got caught in that one hailstorm up there i'm going into town for the next couple days to hang out with some friends and then uh i'll be back 
out camping again if I shoot tonight. I'll pick back up on the vlog. If I don't, I'll pick back up when, uh, when I see you next time. Pit stop, Stanley Hotel where they filmed The Shining. This is going to be an extremely difficult place to shoot in because there are people everywhere and there are lights on everywhere. I'm going to shoot something, but I don't know what. How can I not shoot? It's so creepy. There's so many creepy things. From the pictures on the wall, to the architecture, to this elevator. the elevator. There's just so many lights and people. Anyway, I'll figure something out. All right, good morning. Still in Estes, Estes State Park. Um, Estes, Colorado, um, Rocky Mountain State Park. Ran into four drunk hooligans that decided they, uh, they seemed to want to take my camera gear from me. Circled me, squared up with me. Luckily, I just sensed it, had all my camera gear on me. Anyway, whatever, long story short, I got out of the situation and as I'm walking off, the one kid's like, oh, let's take his camera. And then another kid was like, nah, man, leave him alone, leave the guy alone, blah, blah, blah. So I just headed out as quickly as I could. So I didn't have to deal with that. Um, but anyway, so did get a couple shots last night. Really all the spots were either way too illuminated for me to really create something that I wanted to create or they were, um, you know, full of people still, like the bar area. I wanted to shoot in the bar, the whiskey bar, um, full of people at one o'clock in the morning. So, anywho, um, that's it. I am uh, wrapping this day, this last night, whatever. So, I'm heading to Colorado Springs tomorrow, and um, I'll be down there, but just still hanging out with some friends and doing tourist stuff today. But uh, anyway, that's it. This place is beautiful, everything's gorgeous. That's it. Have a great day. Bye.